Hello and welcome back to Factorio. You may notice that I'm standing in a bit of my factory which didn't exist before. This is Chiba City, named after one of the cities in Neuromancer. And it is here. So it's just been blueprinted in. I put in the rail. Um, you saw me doing some of the make work last episode. I've um, done some more between episodes to get everything working and I put down this um, little mini um, artillery block which did a good job of clearing the biters out around it far enough that we could build the thing. I've also stamped down this although I've not done any of the work for it yet. Um, that's going to be our new mini city. Um, I'm going to have a look at some rocket builds and decide how big they're going to get whether I need a big city or a small city for them. Uh, and it's also possible that I'm going to relocate all the um, uh, fusion power into one of these, because it looks like fusion power is a three by three block. It looks like we could probably fit fusion in a three by three, all the support for one of it in there, and then we'd be able to double it later. Um, so that, that's where my mind is going at the moment. Um, anyway, this is Chiba City. Uh, it's a beautiful city. There are many other cities. It is the one we're interested in building out. So in between episodes, I'm going to be doing work to, um, to build that. What else is there to say? Oh, I've expanded out the pink flooring um, quite a lot. I've decided that each of our cities are going to have a pink boundary around the outside um, just to try and keep the trees down from our per perimeter defenses uh, I, yeah the perimeter defenses having trees right by them is a bit of a health hazard so the pink flooring's going around that will help to kill the trees uh, we've got a perimeter of uh, pink floor just all the way and that's going to get built out while the episode is on I also had some entertainment, so some of some of my builds stopped building. I couldn't figure out why. Um, so let's try and say. So, for example, the the blue inserter maker stopped making blue inserters. I couldn't figure out why. Um, I ended up going over to the machine, and I found that it was trying to load itself with a damaged slow inserter. And uh, there's this weird mechanic in the game where if you have a damaged component. It can't be used as an ingredient by an assembler, but it will be picked up by an arm to go into the assembler. So damaged items poison production chains, basically. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. Uh, what else? Let's uh, start walking, because if I don't start walking, we'll never get there. Um, okay, so I've cleared out a bit of space here to work with for our new lubricant build. Um, what else is there to talk about? I'm doing another round of artillery shell range. And then we are going to do exotic age science after that. So that's quite exciting. We have done all of the techs which we can do, I think, with, with our current level of tech. Uh, the black hole machine is, seems like that's the end game tech. So we're getting pretty close, um, pretty close. All right, uh, I also doubled the number of labs we had because when I put in the better production mod productivity modules, they were not offset by the better um, speed modules. And then, of course, now I'm looking at this, we are out of these energy crystals. I need a beacon energy crystal build, so let's add that to our to-do list. Um, beacon energy crystals, save. Okay. I'm actually quite tempted to move the energy crystals and the exotic energy crystals out to our, um, our bio area, because this all is all things that don't really have inputs. They're all um, pretty self-contained builds. Oh, these can go, can't they? Let's hope nothing dies because of that. And we've got a couple more trees here. I'm just going to get rid of them. I want this clean and tidy. Yeah, fine. Fingers crossed. 
All right, so we're going to have a look at a beacon lubricant build. And this is one of those ones that's just going to be a pain to do because it will involve loops and cycles. So I want to produce lubricant. And I don't know how much I want to produce. So we'll just put in a number. Um, I don't want the units to be belts. I want items per minute. Good, okay. Um, and we can make it from two recipes. We can make it from lubricant distillate or from heavy oil. Well, we were making it from heavy oil. This says 1.6 chemical plants at this. So let's set this to 2000 and see if that gets us up to... Okay, well, I don't really care because we're going to be doing beacons in any case. So we're going to be using the compact beacons, two of them full of those. Okay, 0.1 of a machine, 0.17 for 2,000. So 20,000 is going to be 1.6. So let's drop that down to... Okay, that's almost exactly one machine. Um, I'm not going to do the rounding. All right, so, but we could add some, no, we can't add any productivity modules in here. So one machine for 12K, we may end up doubling this depending on how the build looks. All right, for that, we would need 12K of heavy oil. And we can get the heavy oil from our proper production chain or from coal liquefaction. And I'm going to go with coal liquefaction because I, I want this to be a self-contained module okay and we're going to use advanced oil refinery and we are going to good and can this have productivity modules it can awesome so the, <laughs> the number of machines here required has actually gone up from 0.7 to 0.9 with prob mods because prob mods slow things down however our inputs have gone down okay We've got some byproducts, so we've got some light oil and some petroleum gas. Let's deal with the light oil first. Okay, so light oil we can do several things with. We can make it into plastic, we can turn it into solid fuel, or petroleum. So now we have a ton of petroleum, and I want to turn the petroleum into heavy oil, because the heavy oil we can turn into lubricant. And what do I want extra of? So if I had to guess, let's say petroleum. Okay, so that says 19k of petroleum in, which is clearly nuts. Okay, so I don't want petroleum to be my free item. In that case, do I want it to be light oil, heavy oil, water? Okay, water's fine. Because uh, we can just pump that in. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty relaxed about water being our, our free item. This looks like a build. Um, so let's copy these in, and then can this have prob mods? It can. And this one, no. Okay, so we do have a requirement for steam and for hydrogen gas. Uh, but this is just one, two, three, four machines. So I think this is going to be an achievable build. Now, I might be able to just pull this in out of the network. Um, or, yeah, we can make it locally with absolutely no problem. And then the oxygen gas, we need to export or we need to void it. So we're going to void what we don't export. Okay, just a single voiding machine as long as it's covered by beacons. Um, do we have the option of prob mods here? No. So this is our build, I think. And we'll, we'll paste it down into a block, see how big everything is. And then if it is too much, we'll build that. Oh, wait, steam. That's the one other thing. We need 1.4 boilers. 
pretty awesome. Um, so we may end up doubling this build once we have put the parts down. Okay, so we have two of these making the lubricant. They don't make anything else, so I think they can just be, for now, at the top of the build. Um, oh, hang on. Uh, I need to make sure that this is beaconed. So let's grab this. Um, oh, by the way, our ceramics is now completely backed up. That yeah, it's just completely rammed now. And I want to take this ruler. Um, clearly, it's not going to be a red box here. It's going to be a um, fluid. Is this off by one? Is this off by one? Let's have a quick check. It is. Okay. I wonder which one is incorrect. Well, we'll, we'll go with this one, I think. There we go. All right. So this is our um, beaconage. Okay. So this is going to... I kind of need to know where the outside of the beacon coverage is. And maybe we're at the point where I should have um, done something with some crazy paving. So let's request in. I don't know if this is even made in the network at the moment, but I'm going to request in a bit of hazard. No, not hazard asphalt. Hazard concrete. There. Okay, and is that coming in? No. I've got concrete. Can I make hazard concrete by hand from concrete? Yeah, okay. So I just want to stand on the... Yeah, okay, so let's get that hazard. And down one. Um, okay, so I, I just want to mark out where the edge of the beacon coverage is. Is that it? It is. Okay. Um... It's just going to be so much easier. And this is something I may turn into a proper template. So everything within the hazard concrete gets beacon coverage. Okay. All right. So. Good. So I don't think I need this request anymore. Where am I? Uh, there, that can go. So I think, actually, I can take a blueprint. Um, no, I'm gonna just take a copy of this with tiles. This isn't quite where I was intended to go with this today. Um, then I'm going to... Um, no, nope, I'm going to go into the sandbox, uh, and then the sandbox has a thing where you can reset it. Brilliant. So if I slap down a production module and then bring this back, okay. So this is now my new build. This is my build with. Um, modules. I quite like that. And then so that we don't forget, I'm going to add a display plate. Then I'm going to take the whole thing. We are going to blueprint it with tiles. We are going to snap to grid. It's going to be 32 by 32. And it's going to be absolute. And we are going to change the offset to there. 
create the blueprint, add it to our book. Now let's um, change its icon so it's a road module um, and it is uh, beaconed. So let's find the beacons. Beacon production module. Awesome. So if I now come out of the blueprints, um, I should be able to. Yeah. Awesome. Let's just do that. Okay, and this is going to be making lubricant. Um, yep, good. I hadn't thought of doing this. Um, the other way to do it would be for the build area itself to be hatched. Um, I'm not sure which is better, to be honest. Okay, so we need two advanced chemical plants, and they have to touch a tile inside this area to be covered by beacons. So that's absolutely fine, because they both are. Yep. Um, so that's as far out as we can build on that side. Okay. Then uh, we need a... One of these to be doing the reaction that takes in coal and steam and heavy oil. Okay, and then we feed the heavy oil in there. Then um, we have one of these to deal with the um, light oil output. One of these to deal with the petroleum output. One of these to make the oxygen. One of these to void any excess. Um, let's just, there we go. Okay, so this contraption needs to be inside. Um, I guess these, these want to go together if possible. There's just not a great deal of moving room in these builds. Ah, that's not going to work. Okay. I'm just trying to get things, if I can, to the point where everything... No, that's not going to work because we've got um, inputs clashing. And this is the wrong side of the beacon area. But anyway, are there any other machines we need? Yes, we need two steam engines, which can go anywhere, but are going to be in here. And I think these are going to be fluid burning. Let's um, go down to here where we have an example. Okay. So fluid burning. To be honest, I think these can probably come straight off an underground pump. Um, is that right? Let's, uh, let's at least get the pump, pump down. All right. So they still need to be fueled by something. Uh, it may, may, may make sense to have it running down here. But I think this is our parts list. Does that look correct? It does. Now, I'm not sure if we can double this. I don't know. We've obviously got plenty of room in the middle to do more things. So it's enough room to put in one of these big machines, but all our machines are big. Um, so it, I don't know how much it helps us. We've got some room at the top to put some things in. Um, so I, I guess the thing is, can I find a way to shuffle these so that we basically end up with two of everything? One, two of those. Four of these. 
Okay, that, that one doesn't get any beacon coverage. So I could go up to three times. Okay, a second one of... No, basically we run out of room to put in beacons, don't we? Alright, so let's shuffle these so that they do what we want. Um, the first thing I think is... Um, I think I want this over this side and maybe towards the middle of the apron. Yeah. So it needs steam. Maybe that's all right. Okay. Um, I think we'll power it off petroleum. It's a bit early to be doing piping, to be honest. Um, but let's let's give it a go. Okay, so that's the petroleum, and then we need steam. I may want to move this inner tile. Um, I haven't. I haven't really decided. I don't know what the best thing is in terms of spacing. All right. So then we need to process the petroleum to one side. Um, so this would be the. Sorry, petroleum to one side and the light oil to the other. So this machine could go this way around. It's got two fluid inputs. Um, so we need to provide plenty of room for those. I can have a second water pump though. All right. We can't fit in there. And again, this whole thing could shift one to the right. So this is outputting petroleum. This is outputting petroleum. This is petroleum to oil, but it needs oxygen. Okay. So we could put that around here somewhere. Uh, let's just join... Ah, it's going to have two inputs of... Um, Something like that. Okay, so that's got all the petroleum going. Um, then we need a... Yeah, we've got petroleum fuel. Then we have... This to supply the oxygen. And this to void the hydrogen. Um, what next? Then these two are the ones which actually deal with the heavy oil. Uh, all right. So how I have I fritzed this up? I need to fit. Hmm. Okay. Put them back down just so we remember them. Can this go over one more? It can. And that's within beacon coverage. Yep. Okay. So that is oil. We can pipe that oil that way. And can we pipe this oil this way? We can. Okay. Um, next water. Okay, so that's the water joined on this side. 
we have a water input here. Okay. Um, so that is water everywhere, I believe. Everything that needs water has water. Good. Good, good. Then we need to output our lubricant. Take that. We can just output it there rather than outputting it at the top. Okay, let's work through this. So this has no fuel currently because it has no um, petrol. This needs coal and steam to work. Okay, so we need a coal input. And red belt should be absolutely fine. It's not using very much. Okay, let's set this to coal. And I guess since we're bringing coal in anyway, these could be coal powered, but that would mean that means shuffling the build around a bit. Um, is that something I want to do? So, let's come back here. So we would need something like that. We need a water input here. Do we have water down this side of the build? We don't. It would line up nicely for the steam. Um, Because this isn't going to work until we supply it some steam. So, right. let's take all this away for now. And then these pipes go away. Um, I guess we could run water around like this. It's a bit of a... Yeah, it's a bit of a thing, isn't it? Um, okay, and then these just need to pull in some coal. And they're not quite within... They're one tile out from being covered. So, can I nudge that over one and get them covered. No. There were two tiles out. Alright. So I guess we can add one more. Yep. So these are now producing steam. Okay. Then we have one last bit to deal with. So this whole system is supposed to cycle the um heavy oil around. So the idea is the heavy oil goes back into the input, um, but uh, you produce more than you get out. Okay, so what we can do is take, take this to there and to there. So that's all fine. This now loops. So as long as we prime this, this would work. However, we need to make sure that it always has enough oil coming in. So the way we need, need to do this is an overflow valve here. So this will only... Uh, let's move this down. Will this fit here? Yeah. Okay, so this this now will only um, 
let the oil out when this is over 80% full. So this will have to back up with product. And then, lastly, we need a requester here for heavy oil. Good. Just one truck, because then we're going to have a top-up valve here. So this will only let oil through when this is empty. So the idea is, this only supplies oil when this is out, and this produces oil which automatically cycles back through. So it should not jam, because any excess oil would be pushed out this way anyway. Um, so as long as this... I wish you could set the pressures on these, but you can't. Um, anyway, I'm going to move this up here just because of fluid mechanics. We may need to put in a tank just to uh, control this a bit more carefully. Um, but I'm pretty happy with this. Let's look at the map to see how we're doing at our building. We're doing all right, aren't we? We've, we're building our... Um, oh, that's not supposed to be there. Um, can I do a, a deletion of... Probably can't actually because the tile ghosts are different entities to machine ghosts. Oh well, never mind. Very sad. Um, I think I made a mistake somewhere. Yeah, I... About this way. I um, stamped down a pink tile over here. This should have been a bricks tile. So let's... If I put the bricks tile up over now, it will only override the pink which is actually placed it won't override the pink which is blueprinted, which is a shame, but that's how things are. Okay, so how are we doing? Let's work it through. We have oil here coming in. This is busy making oil. Good. And then we're just going to trace around this build. So is there any oil? Not enough oil. This doesn't have any light oil. Because I took away the pipes. Okay, so now that light oil is working. That's then going through this process. Ah, oh, this actually produces some water. Interesting. This is producing oxygen at the rate it's required. This is slightly under for heavy oil. And this one, slightly under for heavy oil. So let's see if we can figure out where the problem is. This is running at full speed. Um, right, back to the planner. Okay, so the coal liquefaction should be running at 0.8 speed. Ah, we, we only need one lubricant machine. That's why. So this should now be running at full speed. And we've jammed. Um, no, we're just waiting on coal. So why is coal a problem? We have, we have a ton of coal in the network, I believe. Um, we have this coal up here that's backed up. It's just truck travel time, isn't it? Okay. So, sorry, my keyboard's going crazy again. And that noise in the background isn't heavy rain or hail. It is a cat standing on Lego. Okay, so we just need to feed this with more trucks for now. Um, resource management is going to be a problem. All right. So, let's just check the speed of this. If this was running at full speed, it would be producing 11.8k of lubricant. If this was running at full speed, 
it would be producing three. So I think I know which one is most likely to be working. So the issue here is our, our um, coal. Do one option would be to have a coal mine which shipped coal in by train. Um, we have a batch of coal here that's running. Hmm. Maybe we can upgrade the belts on this as well because I think. Yeah, we have some yellowage going on, which probably is not helping. Um, but there's only... This patch started off at 1.2 million. Um, we are probably well below that by now. I don't seem to get... Yeah, we're at half a million now. Okay, and there's a bit here. Started off at three. Oh, our um, factory is getting eaten because we have set off more long-distance artillery. That is very exciting. Um, is there anything I need to care about? Yes, there is. Okay, I'm going to put my fast legs on. We are going to run over there and say hello to the new friends um, because that pack walking through the middle of my brand new base is going to do some damage and it's not damage I want done. Good, okay. So I think if I stand here for a bit, I might be able to take them off just one by one. I'm even going to use my side arm. Okay, has that done its job? Um... I think it has. Okay. Ah, it's because these are firing. Let's take that away. So then they, the bugs path in to try and kill what's shooting at them. Um, but these are doing the job, aren't they? I think I'm happy enough with that to print in functioning artillery over here. And we will get another round of excitement when these go off. And then I've got a lot of alarms going off somewhere. So I need to figure out if that's something I care about. No, it's not. Okay. Let's just run down these. Um... I need to do another round of laser upgrades. But I think other than that, we are doing pretty well. And all the way down. Okay. Um. Good. I have stamped down turrets all the way around here. I, actually, I'm going to go around the corner a bit because um, I'm going to go all the way around to the rail spur. That's it. So now this has artillery. And as they um, come in, right, there we are. We have a new tech. The Exotic Age Technology Pack. It needs high-tech parts, moon rocks, Mars rocks, sulf rocks, urine rocks, sun data, gas giant data. None of which we have. Which means we have an exciting time ahead of us. We are going to build our rocket city, which I keep, I keep saying we're going to build, and we keep not building, but we keep having bottlenecks, like having no... Um, like having no lubricant. So let's run back down, check our lubricant build is running. I want to check it in person in case we need to poke it with a stick. If it is running, then I am very tempted to copy it. Um, 
So this looks like it's running, doesn't it? This looks pretty good. Turn my legs off because they're little use down here. All right, so I'm not sold on this uh, hazard concrete shenanigans. Um, yeah, I'm not, I don't know if that's the right thing, but I'll have a look at that between episodes in the sandbox and decide if I, I like it or not. Um, just to recap, what we've done today is we've made a beaconed um, lubricant build. We are now going to do what all good boys do when they've got something exciting. I'm going to double it. And I am going to find all the other lube builds, mark them for destruction. We are going to retire them. So this is one. Um, this one I don't want to retire because I think it makes some side products which are used in various places. Um, and is there a third lube build? I feel like there should be, but maybe there isn't. Maybe that really is it. Okay, this can go away. Ah, there's one other thing I wanted to do. Okay, this lube build does produce some petroleum. I, is that the right way up? I can never work out which way up these go. Okay, so I would like... That's not a very good place for it, is it? Um, do we have... Yeah, we have petroleum up here that I think we can use. Ah, oh, that's only a very small amount. No, it, all the petroleum is in one... That's all right, we can work this out. Okay, so this is the petroleum cracking. I only want it to crack if we can't do anything else with it. So I want an overflow valve here. So we're only going to process our petroleum if we can't put it in for fuel. And I've no idea why we don't have a refueler set up yet. Um, okay, then this contraption here can also go in here. Very good. And is there a reason why this is not running anymore? Yes, we're full of lube. So I think we have solved our lubricant shortage problem. But at what cost? Well, the cost of a huge amount of extra power, um, which we don't care about because it is tiny compared to other things. All right, one last look. Um, we have expanded out our zone of control even further by doing even more um, shell range. We have made lubricant and uh, we have uh, increased the amount of petroleum we can send out into our network. So all is good as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to call it here. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and tell your friends. And I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.